Hi, my name is Dr. Rob Zabo, and I'm a general practitioner and founder, chief medical officer at Diversa Health. Our goal is to give every Australian with or at risk of type 2 diabetes the option of reversal. And we're going to show you how to do this through a healthy and delicious low carb diet. But first, the seeds of what is now Diversa Health were planted six years ago after I received my own diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. My diagnosis left me shocked and confused because at 37, I didn't know exactly what I'd done wrong. I'd been doing what I told my patients to do. I'd been doing what we're all told to do. I'd eaten a diet low in fat, high in healthy carbohydrates like whole grains, fruit, and vegetables. I'd eaten lots of fiber, low GI, and exercised six times a week. I thought I was healthy. In fact, the only reason I took the test was for an insurance medical. To my surprise and horror, the blood results showed a very concerning picture. And now my doctor was prescribing me medication. After working as a GP with 15 years experience, I could hardly believe it. I was almost resigned because at the time, I didn't think there was another way. This experience led me on a quest to find a better way to treat my condition. And my research kept leading me back to low carb. And the results were incredible. I cut the carbs and within three months, my blood sugars normalized to non-diabetic levels. I'd reverse my diabetes. It was a second chance, which I felt incredibly lucky to have. See, type two diabetes is a condition where the body is unable to control blood glucose levels, blood sugar levels. So it's in fact a very straightforward concept. A low carb diet limits the amount of glucose that enters the bloodstream and so prevents the damage caused by high blood glucose. Really, you can think of diabetes as carbohydrate intolerance the body is not really managing to put the glucose away or deal with it appropriately when it's in the diet. So the best solution in that sense is really just to remove the glucose from the diet, which is exactly what a low carb diet does. I ate more protein and fat and I actually lost weight. My hunger was better controlled and my energy improved. How I felt at my diagnosis? Exactly how Australians all across the country feel every single day. Like they have no choices and no options. I don't want anyone else to go through what I went through. So we built a service to give the nearly 2 million Australians living with diabetes a better option. A medically supervised low carb approach to reduce medications, lose weight and reverse their diabetes. Hi, I'm Camilla Dahl, coach and accredited practicing dietitian. Keeping it simple, nutritious and most importantly, delicious. There are hundreds of foods to discover on a low carb diet. For breakfast, skip the low fat milk and porridge, fruit and toast. You'll be pleasantly surprised to find out that foods like eggs, butter, beef and cheese are back on the menu. They're naturally low in carbs without any need to count, weigh, portion or measure. So for breakfast, why not try a ham and cream cheese roll up instead? You can make them the night before for a fuss-free start to the day, throw in some chives or olives, low in carbs, but full of flavor. The high carbohydrate foods we tend to turn to for breakfast, cereals, grains, granolas, and dried fruit. All carbohydrates are made from long chains of glucose of sugar. Unfortunately, it doesn't make a difference if you choose a low GI bread, a whole grain cereal, or a blended fruit smoothie. Carbs are sugar, sugar are carbs. And if you have type two diabetes, carbs will spike your blood sugar. A simple swap for cereal. Try a low carb coconut and chia pudding with coconut cream, walnuts, or a few blueberries if you're in the mood for a treat. Swap standard toast with jam for a delicious and nutritious low carb breakfast bread packed with protein and fat, a few eggs and almond meal Top it with butter or basil, cream cheese or Vegemite. And there is no need to be constrained by our conventions of what a breakfast should look like. Got some leftover ribeye from the night before? Go for it. When you're eating to reverse diabetes, it is important to build every meal every day around protein. Prioritise protein from meat, chicken, fish and eggs. Feel free to choose fattier cuts of meat if you like. Hungry? Have a second piece. Don't worry, you won't overeat when you prioritize protein. Your hunger hormones will tell you exactly the right time to stop. Ready for your mid-morning snack? Well, most likely, you're actually not. 
because when you filled up on protein in the morning, you'll realize there's no need to snack. But perhaps you normally reach for a fruit yogurt. You might be surprised to learn that most com commercial brands of yogurt have as much sugar in them as custard or ice cream, despite a yogurt label claiming it is made with fruit. Concentrated fruit sugar? This is still just sugar, and so it will raise your blood sugar. When you're eating to reverse diabetes, swap out the flavoured low-fat yogurt for full-fat options, Greek or natural, unsweetened coconut. Top whichever one you prefer with a handful of desiccated coconut or some cacao nibs. You'll end up with a quick filling snack and just a fraction of carbs. Less sugar in your meal means less sugar in your body. Everybody has different preferences, goals and habits. It's never a one size fits all. Success means you'll be able to tweak your diet plan to match your lifestyle. Try talking through your low carb eating plan with a supportive medical practitioner or your healthcare team. Lunchtime and our next opportunity to reverse type 2 diabetes one meal at a time. Aussies love avocados and if you're pressed on time, try this for a fast food. Cut it in half and fill your avo with canned fish. There's no need to be limited to tuna. Try mackerel, salmon or sardines, salt, pepper, a drizzle of olive oil, ready in two minutes. Faster than any drive through If you don't like fish, you might choose lamb, prawns or even kangaroo. A full spectrum of essential vitamins and minerals can be found in animal foods. All the nutrients you need to eat your way to diabetes reversal. We are all busy. You certainly don't need to cook at every meal. There's been an explosion of low carb products on the market, providing us with some delicious and convenient alternatives to cooking. But it can be challenging to know which one is best for you and your body. When scanning the aisles for low carb products, be sure to check the nutritional panel and ingredients list. Many products will falsely claim to be low carb or have no added sugar. When you're eating to reverse diabetes, you must flip the packet over. First, check the ingredients list. Does it contain sugar? Ingredients are listed by weight, highest to lowest. If sugar is on the list, put it back on the shelf. Second, check the nutritional panel, looking at the number of carbs per 100 grams rather than the per serve. This makes it easier to compare between products. Plus, most of us eat more than just one serve. There are so many products to choose from. And so every week, our member community runs product reviews. We round up off the shelf products and find the best option based on taste, affordability and quality. That way, when life is busy, you know exactly what products you can safely turn to available at your local supermarket. Just after lunch, perhaps you're in the mood for a coffee. Which coffee is best? I'd recommend you limit the very milky coffees like flat white or cappuccino. Or if you choose to have these occasionally, treat them more like a meal rather than just a drink. If you enjoy plant-based milks like almond or coconut, be sure to check the label. They very often contain hidden sugars and there are more than 50 names for sugar hidden in the ingredients lists. Questions and queries like which coffee is best will of course pop up when you start eating to reverse your diabetes. If you have a friend who is interested in low carb, enlist their help. You can share knowledge and recipe ideas together. Diverser members are welcome to contact their coach online or via text between appointments. So no matter where you are in Australia, our remote service means there's no more managing it on your own. Mid afternoon, Perhaps you normally reach for a muesli bar or a packet of chips. When you're eating to reverse diabetes, you can swap out the muesli bar for a salted nut mix, low carb macadamias, pecans, pepitas and walnuts. But here's a tip, not all nuts are created equal. There are some high carb nuts to avoid like cashews or chestnuts. Before you reach for any snacks at 3pm, let's check in. Are you feeling a little shaky, foggy? Headache. As your body transitions from a higher carb diet to burning fat for fuel, you might get a little bit of keto flu. Keto flu is good news because it means 
you're on the right track. Successfully reducing carbs, switching your body to being fueled by fat and eating to reverse diabetes. My number one tip, add salt. Lots of it, two or three teaspoons a day at least. Don't fear salt, it is an essential nutrient, unlike carbohydrates. Dinner time, shortcut to meal building. Pick your favorite protein and fill up on that first. Flavor with fat, garnish with greens. How about some slow cooked, also buco. Set and forget slow cooker meals keep dinner simple. Rather than serving dinner with baked potatoes, fill your baking tray with low carb veggies like fennel, radishes, turnip, or swede chips. Swap high carb noodles for stir fried cabbage with bacon bits and spring onion, pasta sheets for a cheesy eggplant lasagna. Coat chicken tenders in sesame seeds rather than flour, or try a one pan coconut cream salmon. And there's no reason you can't enjoy a restaurant meal when you're low carb. Greek, Mediterranean, pub, and steakhouses often have great low carb friendly options. Here are three tips for eating out. One, protein first. Go for steak, chicken, or sliced meat off a spit with salad or veggies on the side. Add some avo, grilled halloumi, or saganaki. Two, take care to limit sources, gravies and toppings, breaded and battered meat, and ask for dressings on the side as they often are made with high carb fillers. Three, resist temptation by asking the waiter to leave sides of bread or crackers in the kitchen. Sugar addiction is real. Cravings might strike, brought on by stress, boredom or fatigue. Evenings can be an especially vulnerable time for grazing and less than ideal food choices. Which is why when you're eating to reverse diabetes, it is really helpful to have support from your community, your friends, family and loved ones who will help and inspire you on your way. The more support that you have, the more likely you are to succeed. I'd recommend that you speak with a loved one about why you have chosen to eat a low carbohydrate diet for your long-term health. This way, they'll be more likely to encourage you along your journey. One way our members can seek support no matter where they are is by heading to the My Diversa online community where they meet with a friendly ear and a word of advice and some encouragement from real people on the same journey of diabetes reversal as they are. Here we are, back at morning. Perhaps you're thinking about reaching for breakfast, thinking about breaking your fast. You might be surprised to learn that continuing your overnight fast into the day by practicing some intermittent fasting actually accelerates diabetes reversal and weight loss. And just like low carb, intermittent fasting is not about being hungry. There's no need to limit the amount of food you eat. Your meals should be filling and satisfying. Intermittent fasting is just about decreasing the number of hours you spend each day with food in your stomach. Skipping breakfast means your body will continue to do exactly what you're doing every single night, making a meal from your fat stores. While you're enjoying fasting, enjoy coffee, water and herbal tea. Feel free to go about your work day or your normal exercise routine. Once you're adapted to low carb, you will find that fasting improves your energy and mood. With yesterday's low carb eating, plus a little intermittent fasting, you'll likely check your morning blood glucose and find it is far lower than when you began just 24 hours ago. The greatest thing about low carb, it is in so incredibly effective that you will see results this quickly. The benefits of low carb begin after the first meal. And so if you take medication, especially medications for diabetes, which lower your blood glucose, it is essential that we make sure that you're safe. A low carb diet is powerful at reducing blood sugars quickly. So if you're on medication for type two diabetes, then we need to make sure that we're matching medication with diet. Some medications like insulin, which dramatically lower blood glucose can be life-threatening if not adjusted correctly when making changes to your diet. Therefore, it's vital that you make changes in consultation with a doctor or diabetes educator who's experienced in helping people to adopt low carbohydrate diets. Proper monitoring includes checking your blood glucose regularly, 
having a doctor periodically monitor your blood test results every three months, and having regular contact with your healthcare professional. Diversa Health offers a team you can trust, who support you to change your diet and gradually adjust or even eliminate medications altogether as you get healthier. I believe every Australian with or at risk of type 2 diabetes should be given the option of reversal. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to know more, please visit our website where you can access more great resources to get started.